to scare anyone. This is my first video for Vlogmas 2017. It's going to be the first time I'm trying to do Vlogmas. Um, so I hope it all goes well. I can't promise that I'll film every day, but I'm going to try at least. Um, I'm not filming my face because I'm not feeling that well today. So I'm just filming my little Advent set, set up for the first three days of Advent. Um, the rest of my Advent calendars is at my parents' house where I'll be spending more time with my calendar than I do here so I left the bulk there and just bring what I need and I have like a Merry Christmas garland and I can show you something the brown bags are my woolly advent calendar and the smaller baggies are my tea advent calendar so I'll be sitting down to open those in a little minute and I post it on Instagram like I have done for the past two years if you don't follow me on Instagram my handle is Renee underscore keys um, I'll put it on the screen how you spell it. Um, but uh, the past two years I've had an Opal Advent Calendar and... Um, let me see if I can flip. Okay, I flipped myself around because it's a bit easier. But um, as you can see I'm wearing a lovely green face mask. I hope it didn't scare any of you. I'm not the Grinch, I promise. <laughs> um, but the last two years on Instagram I... Um, unboxed, uh, did li daily little short videos of my opal calendar and then showed what I got and I intend to do those videos again to this year but I didn't get the opal calendar this year. I was very tempted. The packaging was in the shape of a book which is extra cute but um, I didn't really know what to do with the opal minis this year if I got them again and um, you can see some other Christmassy decoration behind me there. Because it does, um, I use the other two for my cozy memories blanket. Um, but I didn't. I I'm kind of a perfectionist, <laughs> so I have them in mirrored lines on either end of my blanket. Um, one ear is 2015, the other is 2016, and that's on either end. And I didn't have a way of nicely striping in these ones because I want the 24 minis all to be in a line in a row. Um, and I, that would mean either not using them until like three years from now because I have to knit until I get to uh, till my blanket ends are like symmetrical and they're not at all right now because one end has nine rows and the other has four and it's taking forever to get them to catch up. Um, not even four actually, three and a half or something like that. So that was not an option for me. I just felt like it would be a bit of waste of the advent calendar experience. And a uh, quick note, I'm looking down because I look at the screen and that makes my eyes look really tiny. So I'm trying to remember to look at the actual camera on my phone, but it's a bit of a learning curve here. <laughs> I've never vlogged before, um, but I wanted to challenge myself this year and try something new. Um, it really is a challenge because I can't even keep up with Instagram challenges to post a picture every day. Um, but we'll see how this goes. I can't promise anything. Can't promise it be for a full 30 days. Um, probably definitely not around Christmas will be a little... I'll, I'll try and film some clips around Christmas because it, but it is a family affair and, um, yeah, I don't want to intrude really. Um, Christmas is my favorite time of year and I don't want to ruin it by shoving a camera on everyone's face. But, um, what was I talking about? All right, Instagram. Um, so I skipped the Opal Elephant calendar this year and instead... I couldn't not get a calendar because it's totally fun and after two years with a calendar I didn't want to stop. Um, and I really enjoy making the little videos every day. Um, so I got an Indie Night Advent calendar and um, I really regret not recording a clip before I ripped it open uh, last week before I went home and had to take out the three that they have here. But it was a cute box, it was all wrapped like a present with uh, a bit of string and cute Christmas paper. And inside were, I think, 25? Um, I didn't check, but there, there's 24, and then there's something extra and a card, I think. Um, and all the presents are in brown paper bags, but they've been decorated with stickers and stamps and cute. And um, the price for my in the advent calendar was very similar to the Opal advent calendar. And um, in all honesty, the run-up to getting this calendar was a lot more fun than... The Opa Advent Calendar because um, it's from a relatively small Dutch uh, indie dyer and I f I'm on her Ravelry group and it was just fun. She kept posting like uh, it's from Heather Wall based by the way. I'll 
spell that on the screen because it's Dutch name and that can be difficult. Um, but she kept posting like little sneak peeks with everything in black and white and um, you could just tell that the person creating your calendar was having as much fun with just the preparation of the calendars as you would have opening them. And that really just adds another dimension to the advent calendar experience, in my opinion. Uh, not to knock anyone with the Opal Advent Calendar, so they're great. They're really good value. There's a lot of yarn in there, and they're fun. Um, they're also huge. Uh, um, yeah, I think that's all I got. I just had breakfast, like I said. I'm not sure if I actually said it. Ah, this vlogging thing is difficult. I'm not feeling that great, um, hence why I'm only filming myself with green goop to distract yourself from my actual face. Um, I have a bit of a throat ache. Um, which figures since I was really really planning on recording a podcast for the first time in one and a half years uh, maybe even two actually I'm not sure and the day I plan to record I wake up like last night it was fine and then suddenly within an hour like my throat was swollen and sore and now I'm at the point where swallowing and eating food is hard and it's like radiating out along my jaw so my face is a little swollen which Yay, not really when you want to start filming yourself, but I'm making myself do it anyway because I think I'll enjoy it eventually <laughs> once I get over my nerves. Um, and once I remember to look at the camera so I don't look like I'm asleep. Um, for those interested in face goop, this is from Lush uh, Magna Minty. It's one of my favorites, it's nice and refreshing. Um, you don't have to leave it on super long. I usually do though because I like it. And it smells really nice and is really great for like. Uh, what do you call it? I'm looking for a Dutch word and I don't know it in English. Ah, but um, it like calms your skin. What it, that I figured out what I want to say. Uh, the mask sort of calms your uh, your skin down and is good for impurities and stuff like that. It's not too harsh. It's actually quite sensitive. Um, I have quite sensitive skin and it works well for me. So check it out if you're interested. Um, it's one of my absolute favorites. I have a huge jar. Um, I think like 250 mil. It's like the double uh, what a normal fresh face mask from them comes in. And this is my second jar and I'm halfway through. And um, just a quick note about the mask as well. There's two versions. There's a self-preserving one and a fresh one. The self-preserving one is my preference because it doesn't have to go in the fridge. It um, doesn't go bad as fast. And it's a little bit wetter. The other one's a bit drier, which means it crumbles more on your face, and this one doesn't really have this problem. Um, it's still very fresh on my face, so it's not drying yet, but um, I can leave it on there for like good an hour and a half before I really start noticing that I need to take it off. So, If you're interested in face masks, text this one out. It is absolutely one of my favorites. And I'm now going to stop vlogging and switch to Instagram so I can unbox my advent for the day. And I, for the vlog on YouTube, I will include that clip. Happy December everyone, um, it's time to start all your advent calendars. Here you can see a small section, uh, the first three days of my two advent calendars strung up. I have a woolly advent calendar and a tea advent calendar, and I'm going to start with the tea advent calendar today. It's from Your Daily Teacup, a new Dutch shop. It's called, the day one tea is Smashing Pumpkin. Um, really curious, I've never had pumpkin tea, so I'm going to try that in a minute. And then for my woolly advent calendar, that's this little bag, it's from Het Wool Based. I'm trying to hurry because we only have a minute on Instagram and I always have a lot to say. I'm going to open it right now. Ah, it's packaged really good. <laughs> the baggies are really cute, there's different ones for every day. And this one is harder to do with one hand. <laughs> Come on. Oh wow, I love this one. Yes. Okay, I'm going to be knitting with this today, immediately. Um, I'll post a it's a bit dark because my curtains are still closed because I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> but it's beautiful. This is not a fluttering angle. <laughs> oh my. I have a lot to learn about this vlogging thing. So, here we go. It doesn't smell like pumpkin, to be honest. It just smells Christmassy now. So here we go. Oh, it's nice. Not pumpkin, but nice. This is, I'm... This uh, tea shop is quite new. I think it, they opened like half October. Um, and I found it by coincidence. Someone linked me. I, I was in a forum reading about advent calendars and someone linked this one. And I was like, oh my god, it's not that expensive. I need to have it. It was 14.95 euros, which not super expensive for an advent calendar. Um, 
especially someone like this that's by a small company, um, which like I mentioned with my advent calendar for my woolly advent calendar, it's just fun to see people putting effort into that sort of thing and seeing what it does to them when people buy their stuff, which is which sort of makes it extra fun. I really should go and get a shower, but my face mask isn't done yet, so I'm just gonna sit here, relax, and do some knitting on my lovely mini, which, oh, the colors are so nice. It's really soft as well, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that, especially considering, um, of course, I'm gonna be comparing it to the Opal Advent calendars because that's the only other Woolly Advent calendars I've had. It's really, really soft. Um, this is gonna go amazing, my blanket. I can't wait to knit with this. I'm gonna do it right now. Um, oh, I'm tempted to finish this. Uh, let me grab it. I was knitting on this mitten last night. I mentioned I stayed up way too late. I just need to do the thumb and uh, the left mitten and the lining for both of the mittens. But um, I finished this one in a day, like not even a few hours. Um, the Strano knit, pad knit pattern on this is surprisingly easy, actually, once you don't switch your, your, your contrast color uh, every three rows, because I did that too on the previous sample. Uh, this is a design sample. Um, hopefully coming like January or something like that. Um, I need to finish it, I need to write up the pattern, I need to take pictures, I need to get it in testing, so it's gonna be a while. Um, but I'm tempted to just quickly knit a thumb on here so I don't have just a thumbs mitten lying down, lying around, and it feels more finished. And then knit a quick, a quick square in my blanket and then shower. So basically I'm showering tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sitting here like this all day. No, but yeah, maybe I should just do the square and then shower. That doesn't take so long. And, um, yeah, I'll talk about this again later. I was going to say something about the mitten, but I'll do that again once I'm work actually working on it. And I will show you the first sample. That's it for now. I'm going to enjoy my tea, um, watch stupid YouTube videos, and um, knit my square. And I will report back in later, uh, probably when I'm knitting again. Bye. So, time for another check-in. I've showered, I've been knitting, I've been relaxing. Um, starting to feel like the bug is really kicking in, uh, not feeling that great. Um, but I finished my square for today, and I finished this square as well. This is the first one. Ugh, my iPhone is having trouble capturing how gorgeous this really is. Um, it seems very red here on the camera, but it is really nice purple. The blue is really vibrant. It's just and it's just really soft. I really like it. And I cut like these together on camera like this, like the light and the dark. Um, although this is a bit more vibrant, less dark uh, in real life. And I'm watching a Sims video and I'm gonna put away my blanket. Um, however tempting it is to keep working on the other half, which is over there. And I'm gonna switch to these mittens. I'm gonna knit the second mitten, the body I think, and then do the thumbs concurrently. Not two at a time, because I'm not good at two at a time, but just on two sets of DPNs. And um, then tomorrow I'll probably knit the linings, but I don't think I'll have time for that today. I'm a bit exhausted. Um, like I said, I stayed way too late to knit this one yesterday. In hindsight, that was a really bad idea. I knew that, but <laughs> I still did it. But um, yeah, I'm now really struggling to stay awake <laughs> until a normal bedtime. Because I don't want to screw up my um, day-night rhythm again. Because I already have problems sleeping normally. And it was going really well for a while. So I don't want to mess it up further by taking a nap. So I'm being good and not sleeping. And I think I still have my first cup of uh, pumpkin tea. I really liked it, but my throat is so sore that I just can't drink it properly. Um, but it tastes good cold too. Um, most teas do actually, so that doesn't matter. And, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna make another cup of tea, uh, because I'm feeling a bit dehydrated. And that's probably it for today. I'll do some cooking later, cooking, um, I'm making my favorite food, so that should cheer me up. Not that I'm not cheery or something, but <laughs> it's nice when you're not feeling great to have your favorite foods and stuff like that. I not really plan my advent idea. I, I had a bit of a brain freeze, I think, because I didn't quite have it planned the way I wanted it to go. I wanted to have uh, 
a full row on each end of the new advent calendar meanings. What I didn't count, consider is that one is only on row four, and technically three and a half, because four isn't finished yet, and the other is has nine completed rows. So I can do one row now, but I can't knit the same mini immediately into the other half, because I need to knit to row nine to have that completed, and then row ten, because I want them to be in the same spot. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even sure why it matters, but I just, I like it. To, I want the halves to be sort of symmetrical because it's already such a crazy amount of yarn and colors. Um, it makes me happy that way. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I think that's it for now. I can just finish this mitten. I'm having some more tea. And I am working on the second one. And that is it for today. That's probably going to be it until I go to bed. Um, I'm going to try and edit this video today. Uh, this vlog, um, but I might have to finish it tomorrow. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, so that's it for me today. Um, I hope you all had a lovely first day of December, that you're enjoying your advent calendars, and I will see you again tomorrow.